Well, as we continue to creep further into November, many here in western New York have a pretty startling reminder of just how tough the winter weather can be in our region. Joining me now in the Daytime Buffalo studio is Councilmember Wingo of the Masson District and Michelle Scott, Operations Manager of 211 Western New York. Welcome both of you. Thanks Thank for you. joining me. So I'll start with you, uh, Councilman uh, Wingo. We've been talking about the Buffalo Common Council's Winter Preparedness Series. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me how the previous ones have went and what's up and coming. Well, we've been excited about the attendance that we've received so far. Folks are really interested in being prepared in any way, shape, form, or fashion that they can for this upcoming winter season. I think last year taught us a lesson. Mm -hmm. Even though we know snow in Buffalo, there are some things that we can still learn. So we are trying to put together these packages at these various centers to make sure that folks are even more prepared than we were last year. So we're pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's all about information and giving people tips. Uh, now, I know registration is closed, meaning the bags that the Common Council has prepared are now all taken, mm -hmm. but when you go to these events, you're not going to leave empty-handed, right? No one should leave empty-handed. There's plenty of sponsorships with people uh, giving us things for our folks and uh, our uh, community, so everyone who comes should leave with something, especially more information on how to deal with these upcoming winners. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, for this next one, tell me what's special about it or what's different, because this one is actually going to be held on the east side, which is a big deal, right? Well, you know, uh, we've always been making sure that uh, folks on East Buffalo and East Buffalo have been prepared for winter. It's just that when people said we were getting a storm last year, we kind of thought, eh, a storm, we do storms all the time. Right. But this is a little bit different, so folks are very interested to ensure that they have what they need. Uh, this series, you can actually build your own uh, uh, packet as well, and then we also have flu shots that will be available as well as COVID shots. So this, these things are, are, are different uh, aspects of our winter preparedness programs, but Mass and District has always made sure that our folks uh, knew what was happening, and our uh, legislative assistant, uh, Selena Izari, she's always putting together our newsletter to ensure that our folks who sign up for the newsletter are informed and aware of what's happening. Michelle, speaking about being informed and aware, tell us about 211. Yes, absolutely. So 211 is a simple line that people can call and we're essentially a central referral service. And so what we do is we're a one-stop shop. A lot of times people need resources in the community, but they find it difficult to connect with those resources. They find themselves calling around and not being sure who helps with what. And many of them are very busy at school, work, various things. And so we are a 24 seven operation that they can contact at any time of the day. It's completely anonymous and we can connect them with various resources in the community to help with as we call various social determinants of health that we're trying to mitigate. Absolutely. Oh, so anyone can call you, right? Absolutely. Anyone can call us. Many times people often associate 211 uh, with our most vulnerable populations, but we are here to help people across various social I can't talk, socioeconomic demographics, right? Mm -hmm. um, so these are going to be our most vulnerable populations all the way up to people who would not think to call 211. We have services and resources that we can definitely connect them with. So it's everybody. Nice. Okay, when and where is the next winter prep series? Delavan Greider Community Center, 877 East Delvin, right on the east side of Buffalo. It will be from 5.30, it will start at 5.30, and I would like for everything to be gone. So everyone get there as soon as you can to make sure that we have an empty Delavan Greider Center by the time the session is over. I'm sure it will. I love that you mentioned for people that have been in Buffalo their whole life, last year was a lot. For people like me that was new to Buffalo, <laughs> last year was a lot. So what are some of the tips that people, or things that people aren't really aware that they should be having in their house, in their car, and making sure they're safe? Well, first you should make sure you have water. One of the things we take for granted is water. Mm -hmm. uh, folks, pipes freeze and they don't have access to water. And the, another thing that we also take for granted are those little uh, film blankets the little, uh, looks like aluminum foil, uh -huh, <laughs> but yeah. it's a warming blanket. Make sure that you have those type things. And make sure you have some non-perishables in your house as well. Things that don't need to be heated up. Things that you can just pop open and just 
eat if you need to. So make sure you have those basic necessities. So you've had a, a couple of these uh, prep series. What's been the response from the community? Oh, they love it. Yeah. I, mean, if, I mean, if they didn't, we wouldn't be doing it, but yeah. they love it. So we're going to keep doing what the community is asking us for. They, they, uh, they feel appreciated when we host these events. And again, all of the sponsors, I cannot just speak enough about how many people came forward, how many businesses and organizations came forward to make sure that this event was the most robust that we've ever had in my eight years uh, going out of, of office. This is going to be a big one going out, so I'm extremely proud and excited about all the things we can offer for folks this time. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for coming in. Again, viewers, the Buffalo Common Council Winter Preparedness Series happens throughout Buffalo. To learn more about any of their Winter Preparedness Series events, just head over to their website, buffalowinterprep.com. Remember, they are all the registrations are filled, but if you go to these events, you will not leave empty-handed. Thank you both for coming in. Thank, thank you. you.